Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install SSRS 2014 uh, and also how to configure it once we install the uh, reporting services. Just to give you a brief background, there are two modes that you can install SSRS. One is native mode um, and other is SharePoint mode. When you install SSRS in SharePoint mode, what it does, it creates the interface between SharePoint application and your report server. So SharePoint admin can manage the reporting from SharePoint admin console. So let's install SSRS right now and then we'll configure it later. I'm going to use the same media as I used for installation of SQL Server. You double click on that, double click on setup. Click on installation. Since I have installed SQL Server already on this laptop, so what I'm going to do is uh, cl uh, click on New SQL Server Standalone Installation or Add Features to an Existing Installation. Since SSRS is feature of SQL Server, so we're going to install on Standalone Server. Click on that. It's going to go through some set of files before it let, let us choose uh, what we want to install. So click next. Click next. We're going to use existing SQL Server 2014, so I'm going to click on Add Feature to an existing instance of SQL Server 2014. Click Next. As you can see there, there are features already installed um, on this laptop, so I'm going to choose Reporting Services in Native Mode. If you notice right here, um, there are a couple options for reporting services in SharePoint mode and reporting services add-in for SharePoint products. But we're going to install in native mode, so we're going to click that and click Next. This is the reporting services account. If you are connected with the domain and you have a service account for reporting services, you can use it right now or you can change it later. Since I am not connected with any domain, so I'm going to just keep it as it is and click Next. We have a, an options here. Um, install and configure reporting services at the same time. Install only. Um, I'm going to click on install only because we're going to configure the reporting services in just a little bit after installation. So click Next. <clears throat> this is the summary that will tell you that what's installed and what's going to be installed. So I'm going to click on Install. The installation is going to take about 5 to 10 minutes. I'm going to pause the video. Once the installation is completed, I'll come back to that. And if I face any issue, I'll share that issue and resolution with you. Okay, as you can see, the reporting services in native mode has been installed successfully. So our next step is how to configure reporting services so that we can use the report server. So let's close that and go in configuration. I'll open report server configuration. Click on SQL Server 2014 report services configuration. As you can see, the first thing it asks you that um, uh, where you installed reporting services, uh, what instance of SQL Server that you have installed um, reporting services. Uh, first, first one is machine name and the second is the instance name. So we're going to connect to that. You can see the summary up here. Uh, next thing is the service account. If you do have a service account, you can change it right now. Uh, since I'm not connected with any domain, so I'll keep the uh, account as it is. 
click on account it says use built-in account which is this or you can use another account uh, right here even if you're not connected with the domain admin and you have just administrator of this machine you can use that uh, this is the account that is going to run the services of reporting services so I'm gonna keep it the same way next is web service URL <clears throat> this is going to be the default web service URL so you can go ahead and change that if you want to let's say that you don't want the instance up here you can um, delete that or you can rename it right now I'm gonna keep it the same way um, you can do it whatever your environment uh, or your checklist says so I'll go ahead and apply whenever you make any changes in configuration please uh, don't forget to apply otherwise it will not take effect this is the URL um, if you are using any application that is going to use report server this is the uh, URL that you give your application um, uh, developer or um, you can put it in application config file uh, this URL right here and it'll connect to the to the reporting server so our next thing is the database configuration click on database this con configuration is going to create a couple databases one is report server and other is report server um, temp so you need to give an instance where you want to create this uh, uh, these databases so I'm gonna click on change database since I don't have the databases already I'm going to create a new one if you already have the database you can change uh, choose the second option so go ahead click next here it'll ask you the SQL Server instance name here's my instance you can change authentication type as a current user or you can use SQL Server account you test your connection always connection is succeeded you can proceed further click next this is the database name you can change the database name let's say you're doing the development you can do underscore dev if you notice that as soon as you will change the database name uh, report server on the first tab which I usually call it master database you will see the temp database will uh, rename on its own uh, with the uh, temp prefix so I'm just gonna keep it default and if you notice right here report server mode is native click next well it says the database report server already exists so what I'm going to use is just go ahead and change the name so that I can create a brand new database so underscore dev so click next well looks like I have done these demos dev zero one how about that so click next here's the service con credential when when you choose service credential what it means is that uh, uh, the account that's running uh, report server um, services that it it, it considers uh, that account as service uh, account so it's gonna use that account um, to create those databases you have an option if you click on that if you wanted to change the account Windows credential SQL server credential whatever the credential you use or account you use it should have permission to create the databases on SQL server side so I'm going to keep it service credentials click next this is the summary click next it's going to create those two databases on SQL server side <clears throat> click finish if you see this is the uh, database uh, configuration summary in report uh, reporting services so go ahead and click on um, report manager URL this is the by default URL that you will uh, get uh, you can change this as well so click on apply so our report manager URL is successful click on email setting uh, if you wanted to uh, use the email um, SMT delivery method you can fill your um, 
uh, information right here and can use it here but I'm gonna just leave it that way because I don't have it so execution account this is a bit important if you uh, are installing reporting services in dev account and uh, instead of changing the data sources on the report server after the installation and configuration uh, manually uh, if you wanted to use one account that will always execute those data sources you can specify here I'm not going to do that but you, you have an option to do that encryption key this is uh, again very uh, Im important you always wanted to back up the encryption key because encryption key holds the uh, all the credential information so I would recommend every week if you're rendering a lot of reports on report server or if you're uh, uh, rendering every uh, month um, however your retention is or the cha change management is you can uh, uh, back up your you should back up your uh, key so I'm going to go ahead and back up my key you need to give a location uh, please give the location uh, not on the same server but somewhere where you store your credentials on a central repository since I don't have central repository I'm going to give this key demo reporting server key and I'm going to just save it on C give the password this is the password that you need to give when you restore the key so make sure that you remember this password or save it in some safe location click OK scale out deployment if you wanted to uh, get other SQL reporting services instance um, you can add those service server here uh, this will uh, leverage you all this scale out deployment um, reporting services does support scale out deployment um, it's not a cluster where but you could do the uh, scale out deployment so we can our configuration is completed let's see if it's working we're gonna exit it and then we're gonna go back to configuration to see our URL is working fine or not so I'm going to back, go back to reporting server manager click on here yes you connect and up here it says the web URL this will give you the report server URL this is the main URL that you um, you wanted to click on that and see if it's working fine first time when reporting services starts it takes a little bit of time but if you have a beefy server it shouldn't take that long As you can see, the home page appeared and uh, reporting services has been installed and configured successfully. So that's it for this uh, video. I hope it helps.